Hansi Drum, the world's first anti-PD-1 monoclonal antibody approved for first-line treatment of small cell lung cancer, has achieved another milestone. It is poised to usher in the new era of chemotherapy-free treatment for gastric cancer. As one of Fawcett's innovative drugs, Hansi Drum was initially designated by its research and development R&D code HLX10. Does this code hold a special significance? What do the R&D codes represent? Uncovering the significance behind these codes may offer us a glimpse into Fawcett's blueprint for biopharmaceutical innovation. As an independent developed innovative drug, Hansi Drum marks a significant milestone in Fawcett's journey of pharmaceutical innovation. It is the world's first anti-PD-1 monoclonal antibody approved for first-line treatment of SCLC, and its successful launch not only demonstrates Hanlia's robust R&D capabilities, but also establishes HLX-10 as a milestone in the company's R&D history. Since its launch over three years ago, Hansi Drum has been approved in the European Union, the United Kingdom, Indonesia, and other markets. It has also been granted orphan drug designation by both the United States Food and Drug Administration and the European Commission. Hansi Drum has recently achieved another significant R&D breakthrough. It became the world's first regimen aiming to replace adjuvant chemotherapy with monoimmunotherapy in the perioperative treatment of gastric cancer. This milestone marks a promising step toward a new era of chemotherapy-free treatment for gastric cancer. In addition to Hansi Drum, Hanlia's marketed products including Hanli Kang HLX01, which is primarily indicated for the treatment of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, chronic lymphocytic leukemia, and rheumatoid arthritis. As Hanlia's first product, the launch of Hanli Kang not only filled the gap in China's biosimilar market, but also represented a notable achievement in China's biopharmaceutical industry. As Hanlia's second product, Han Chu Yo HLX02 is China's first independently developed trastuzumab biosimilar. Its launch has expanded treatment options for patients worldwide with HER2-positive breast and gastric cancer. Today, Han Chu Yo, a China-developed monoclonal antibody biosimilar drug, has been approved in China, Europe, and the US, with marketing approvals in over 50 countries and regions, and out licensing covering over 100 countries globally. It stands as a leading example of China's biopharmaceuticals going global. In addition to marketed drugs, several drugs under development within the HLX family have also gained industry interest. Among these, HLX43 is particularly noteworthy. As an innovative pdl one targeting antibody drug conjugate ADC, HLX43 offers dual benefits of immunotherapy and targeted ADC treatment significantly reducing the side effects of cancer therapies. The broad tumor targeting nature of PDL1 enables PDL1 ADCs to address various indications, including non-small cell lung cancer, esophageal squamous cell carcinoma, hepatocellular carcinoma, cervical cancer, nasopharyngeal carcinoma, and head and neck squamous cell carcinoma. Its wide tumor coverage positions HLX43 as a promising broad-spectrum anti-cancer drug. Gastric cancer is one of the three most prevalent cancers globally, with HER2 positivity occurring in approximately 15% to 20% of patients. HLX22 is a novel epitope anti-HER2 monoclonal antibody. It is also the first gastric cancer anti-HER2 therapy to receive ODD in both the EU and the US. Currently, HLX22's phase 3 clinical trials have been approved by regulatory authorities in China, the US, Japan, Australia, Germany, and South Korea. And the first patient has already been dosed globally. While HLX might appear as an abbreviation for Henlius, this seemingly mysterious code also reflects the breadth and complexity of Henlius' R&D efforts. At present, Henlius has nine products approved for marketing worldwide and four marketing applications under review by the National Medical Products Administration in China, the US FDA, and the European Medicines Agency in the EU, respectively. Meanwhile, over 30 clinical trials are underway for 19 pipeline products globally.
Henley's pipeline ranges from drugs for well-established targets, such as HLX-14, adenosumab biosimilar, to next-generation innovative molecules and biopharmaceutical platforms that are cultivating a new wave of innovative drugs, such as HLX-43. Henley's preclinical pipeline focuses on oncology, driven by patient needs and clinical value. Centered on antibody technology, it explores novel targets and mechanisms across modalities, including monoclonal antibodies, multispecific antibodies, ADCs, fusion proteins, and small molecules. With a differentiated strategy, Helvius aims to continuously develop blockbuster products and indications. Reflecting Fawcett's commitment to an innovation-driven strategy, the HLX designation signifies more than just the R&D process of a drug. It charts a course toward addressing clinical needs, forming the backbone of the company's innovation strategy and illustrating the progression of Chinese pharmaceutical innovation from falling behind to running alongside and ultimately leading the race.